Hi everyone, my name is Ava and I'm an American living in the Netherlands and today I wanted to talk to you about what it is like working here in the Netherlands as an American of course because let me tell you all of those cultural differences that I like to talk about on this channel well they come out at work so if you are an international and you're looking to move to the Netherlands or you're an international working in the Netherlands there's some stuff we should talk about and if you are Dutch I hope you enjoy what the work culture is like from the perspective of someone who is not Dutch or wasn't born in the Netherlands with that said first a little bit of a background on to what my job experience has been since I moved here so I've had two full-time jobs since I moved uh, from the US to the Netherlands the first job that I've had was at an American company, essentially an international company, but mostly with Americans. And it was based in the Netherlands. But again, I would call it an American company. So that was my first job. And then afterwards, my current job that I've been at for three years is at a Dutch university. And while universities tend to be international, let me promise you that this is very much a Dutch working environment that I am in. We speak Dutch at work, we follow a lot of the Dutch cultural norms, etc. So with that said, let us get into those cultural differences, starting with the Dutch work week. So I'm American. In America, the stereotype and also what I've seen is that it's a little less nine to five and a little more nine to burning the midnight oil or however long you can work, working on the weekends, etc. The Dutch work week is a little different than that. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about things you might already know, but did you know that the Netherlands has the shortest working hours in all of the EU? Dutch people I tell this to don't believe me, but there are the numbers to prove it. According to the recent numbers available, the average work week in the Netherlands is only 33.2 hours long. 33.2 is shockingly little. I was surprised to see those numbers myself. Okay, but if you are Dutch, you are probably going to guess what is coming next. And that is that if you zoom into the data and look at it by males and females, you will see a different picture emerge. So let us look at the males. If you look at the males here in the Netherlands, you will see that they work an average of 37.4 hours per week. Now that is still the lowest in the EU, but that is not quite the 33.2 that I was talking about earlier. Now, if you go and look at the female work week, then that's when you see that the numbers are quite low. The average woman or the average work week for Dutch woman, woman in the Netherlands is 28.5 hours per week. That is three and a half days. That sounds kind of nice, but if you look at the discrepancies between males and females, even though both of these groups work the least number of hours here in the EU, that is a big difference. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this problem because it is quite complicated and Dutch society is trying to combat it or try to figure out what it is that causes the discrepancy between the male and female working hours. So I'm not going to go into it, but the reason I wanted to bring this up is because I think in general, the Netherlands is moving towards a four day work week. They may not know it yet, but this has just been my experience. Also in terms of the new jobs that are put out, I have seen time and time again now, I think more than when I started looking even four years ago, that there are just an increasing number of jobs that are available for a maximum of four days a week. So 80%. I didn't even know what this meant. When I moved here, I would see jobs like actual, you know, jobs that you needed a PhD for or a lot of training. And I would see that they were available for um, 32 hours per week. And I just did not understand what that meant or the zero comma eight FTE. I was like, I don't, I don't know what that means. Like uh, I'm one person. So one person, one job. That's kind of the mindset that I had, but I've seen so many vacancies where four days is sort of the maximum number of days that you can work during the week. So your salary also reflects that. So, I will say on the one hand, it is great to be able to work four days and you do, I think get paid enough to sustain yourself, but it is something that I grapple with because what if I just wanted to work more? Like I said, I work full time. So I work one FTE, but maybe it's just my field, but I've been seeing more and more jobs that are four days a week. But that said, you can totally just have a perfectly great career working four days a week. You could be the director working four days a week. You could be a doctor working four days a week. So that in itself is not an issue, but I think it's not quite the norm yet. It's just more and more of what I've been seeing. So that's my personal experience. The other phenomenon that is really interesting that has to do with the Dutch work week is the fact that Dutch people seem to only go into work, especially after COVID on just Tuesdays and Thursdays, like the whole country came together and just decided, oh, we're going to go to work only on these two very specific days. And the reasoning goes something like this. I think people have told me that on Wednesdays, like kids are let out of school early or something like that. So people tend to stay at home on Wednesdays. 
work from home on Wednesdays or just take Wednesdays off. Fridays, well, that's the day I think people who typically work four days take off as well. And for people who work full time, it's sort of, well, it's almost weekend. So I'm not going to go into work that day. So people don't really go into work on Fridays. And then Mondays, I don't know, people just don't like Mondays here in the Netherlands or anywhere. So people decide to not go into work on Mondays anyway. So then you end up with people crowding the trains, crowding the roads, just really packing up the office on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it is a pretty funny phenomenon to observe. Now the next thing I want to talk about is work-life separation. Note that I didn't say work-life balance, that exists as well, but I'm talking about work-life separation. Now, Dutch people will go into work and they are very much in work mode. They, it's almost as if they've just agreed that nothing fun is going to happen during their work day. They're gonna sit down at their desk and they're gonna work. They will take breaks from meetings and you know, Dutch people drink a lot of coffee, so they will make an exception for coffee. Like really, they just drink coffee all day long. I thought Americans drank a lot of coffee and then I came here and was like, whoa, they drink a lot of coffee here. So they'll take coffee breaks, but a lunch break, absolutely not. They will sit at their desk, eat their boats or hum, their sandwich in front of their computer and just keep working from the moment they came in so that they could leave work on time and actually start their life part of their day. I mean, coming from the US, I kind of assumed that people in Europe took lunch breaks. So I fully expected when I started my job at this university that people would, you know, take some time for lunch and sit down and eat together. But that was just not the case. So there's a little bit of expectation versus reality here. But oh my God, let me tell you, Dutch people will leave work at five. At work, 4.30 p.m., the office is full, and then 5.30 p.m., it is totally deserted. Like, almost nobody is in the office after 5 p.m. And this is also a really funny thing to observe, that people are just working as if they're sprinting towards the end of the day. Not a marathon, just a sprint. And then when the clock hits 5, everyone just packs up and is like, oh, time to go, and they stop abruptly. Like, they will drop everything and just leave. The other thing related to this is Dutch people have colleagues, not friends at work. If you came to the Netherlands and expected to make Dutch friends through work, I have bad news for you. That ain't gonna happen. Dutch people just treat work as work and then they have their private life. Dutch people will do the work at work, will have their colleagues at work, they'll be collegial and you will have nice conversations with them, but then they'll end their work day and then just go home to their real friends. I mean, of course there's some exceptions to this, but for instance, I, in the beginning, wanted to hang out and do fun things after work, but I noticed pretty quickly that other than planned work events, it was basically impossible to, you know, get to know people a bit more and go hang out with them outside of work because everyone just wanted to end their work day at five so that they could go home and cook potatoes or like go to one of their after work hobbies. I don't know what Dutch people do after work because I have a limited amount of Dutch friends. I will say I have made a friend or two through work and they're Dutch, but again, this is the exception, not the norm. I mean, even the work drinks in the Netherlands, they often start at 4 p.m. so that by the time dinner time rolls around, you can go home and be with your family, friends, and just move on with your lives. But as you can probably reason, there is a huge positive side to this work-life separation. And one of those is the emails. Between the hours of, I don't know, 6.30 p.m. to the next day, 7.30 a.m., you will see hardly any emails in your inbox. Like, I just don't think anyone in the Netherlands is sending out work emails at those times. Now, maybe if you work in finance or consulting or a high pressure, lots of hours job like that, it might be a bit different. But I think the norm here is pretty much that after work hours, people just go do other stuff. So they're really not checking their email. They're really not responding. And that was a bit different when I uh, started this job, which was during COVID because people were at home all the time. There wasn't a lot of social stuff going on. But I noticed pretty quickly that as we came out of it, between 6.30 p.m. and 7.30 a.m., I will say like categorically, there are no emails. So then I don't have to be worried about missing something while I'm asleep, you know, which believe you me, does happen outside of the Netherlands. And then there are the weekends. My weekends are actually weekends on Monday morning after having done my work day on Friday, on Monday morning when I open my inbox, it's not flooded with emails from the weekend, which again happened to me in the US all the time. This was standard. People would fully expect you to do work over the weekend. But here, that is just not the case. I open my email Monday morning and guess what? There are no emails yet because 
Nobody was working over the weekend. Okay, now the third thing I wanna talk about is the office culture. I did kind of go into it a little bit, but there's some aspects that I want to highlight. And the first aspect I wanna highlight is hierarchy. American society at work is very hierarchical. Um, in the Netherlands, that is less so. I'm not saying that work hierarchy doesn't exist, it does, but I would say in general, people treat each other like people. It seems like this should be something they do everywhere, but I feel like that's not always the case, so I'm gonna mention that here. But what I mean by less hierarchical is that, for instance, you can give input to people regardless of what their role is within the organization that you work in. So if you, as a, I don't know, individual contributor, wanna give uh, input feedback to the director, you may. Now, it may not be as easy because there is some kind of hierarchy, but not so much that this would be inconceivable. Now, I, a couple of years ago, when I was looking for the next step in my career here in the Netherlands, went through career coaching because I just was coming out of academia and I didn't, I needed help with a lot of things. So I did career coaching and it was this Dutch woman who was leading it. And she told me, Ava, listen, I don't know what things are like in America, but here in the Netherlands, you need to give input and feedback to your manager if you feel that that's important. No one is above anyone here. We are all working together towards the same goal. And then she says, for instance, there was this video of Mark Rutte when he was prime minister that went viral where he spilled coffee and he was just cleaning it up. And she said, the world took notice, but to us, that is normal. Now, I think now that I've been in the Netherlands for a few years, okay, people definitely like think, oh, that was nice that he did that. But I have to say that I definitely see what she means, that it's not something that would necessarily go viral here in the Netherlands because he just, you know, he spilled coffee. Like, of course he should clean it up. That's the Dutch mindset. Whereas the world was shocked. Okay, now let's talk about meetings for a second. Dutch people love meetings. I feel like, why haven't I heard of a society in this world where people go, hey, Let's tackle this via email. That does not happen in the Netherlands either. But what is interesting about Dutch meetings is that apparently the Dutch at some point came up with this polder model where everyone could then contribute their opinion and you sort of like come up with the consensus in these meetings and, and then that's how you get a decision on something. Now, that hasn't necessarily been my personal experience. I do think everyone's opinion is valued, but I think what I really noticed in meetings was that oh my God, Dutch people do not hold back their opinion. They will tell you exactly what they think, not just of the topic, but of you in the meeting. I mean, and of course, like you wanna try and be tactful in things. And like when people actually start expressing their opinion, it gets ugly. But I remember the first couple of months that I sat in these meetings, I would just after these meetings, go to my wife and be like, this just happened. Is that, is that normal? Like, should I be worried? Should I let HR know? Cause I was horrified. And I think maybe those particular months were a bit extreme, but after that, I've also noticed that people are very comfortable just, you know, expressing their opinion very directly. And I think maybe because of that directness to me, it sounds rude and now I'm used to it. So maybe that was also the change in the months that, you know, followed, but I think because of how direct things were, I thought people were being rude or fighting even, but I think I've gotten used to the Dutch directness at work. And I try to be more direct myself because people just express their opinion and then you can be done with the meeting sooner and then you can just get through the rest of the day so that you can end your work day at five and then you can go and cook potatoes at home. Okay, final thing about office culture here in the Netherlands is that if it's your birthday, you have to bring cake. People will be very upset if you don't bring cake to work. Okay, and finally, I wanted to end this video talking about benefits the benefits of working in the Netherlands. Now, I don't wanna to spend too much time on things like vacation days. We get a lot of vacation days here, like a ridiculous amount. And on top of that, you get things like development days that you can also take. You just get a lot of time off and you have flexible working hours. People don't work full time. I think comparatively, there is a lot of free time and there is a work-life balance here in the Netherlands. But that aside, I wanted to spend a moment on getting sick because when I first moved to the Netherlands, I did not understand how the system worked. At the first company I worked at here in the Netherlands, because it was international with also very many Americans, we sort of retained half of the American culture there. And one of the things I didn't know how to tackle or deal with was getting sick. Because if I was sick, I would still continue working and that was fine. But when I started working at this Dutch university with Dutch people. I noticed pretty quickly that people were comfortable taking time off when they were sick. I'm saying this now and it just seems so matter of fact, like if you're sick, you should take time off to recover and then come back to work when you're totally fresh and actually useful. 
but that was just not my mindset when I joined. So I had no idea how to go about doing this because in America you have something called sick days. Now here, I think I mentioned this to my manager once and she was like, what's a sick day? She was like, if you're sick, you're sick. Just take the day off, recover. Let me know when you're better. And like, I'll just put it in the system. Like that's all she wanted from me. But I felt so guilty for being sick. And I didn't get over this guilt until maybe I would say a year and a half, almost two years into the job. So only recently I've been comfortable taking time off for being sick, but that's because in America, when you have those sick days, you can just trade a day, your time to be sick. Whereas here you can just be sick. And I love that because, you know, I feel like days should be reserved for vacation and something you can plan. Whereas being sick, you can't plan that. You can't plan when you're gonna get sick and for how long. That's the other thing. If you have a long-term illness, I think up to two years, you are just protected by law. And of course, at some point, uh, you only get partially paid, but still it is a good chunk of your income. So those were some of my experiences working in the Netherlands as an American. I'm curious to hear about your experiences as well. And if something stood out to you, if you think I left something out, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I love reading them and until next time.